hi and welcome to my channel so good news if you're a teacher and you're considering moving to the uk to work this year so basically um the government has announced that are going to be giving out relocation packages so they're giving our money to support overseas teachers to move to the uk so they're going to be helping you with your visa fees they're going to be helping you to pay your healthcare surcharge they're going to be helping with all those relocation costs you know, to make sure that you get to the UK ASAP. Because look, the government has announced that they've met their target by only 17%. And so this is just a desperate situation to get as many people from overseas as possible to get to the UK. So if you're a teacher or you know anybody who's a teacher or you know somebody who's considering moving to the UK as a teacher, look, you 100% want to share this with them so that they can be aware of what's going on and if they've been procrastinating if they've been sat there thinking oh my god you know should i go to the uk should i not i'm gonna start the application tomorrow i'm gonna start yesterday you know what i mean people that procrastinate all the times you need to share this with them hopefully this is gonna be a wake-up call to say it is all worth it for you and you should 100 percent go for it so in this video i'm going to be telling you who is eligible for this because as you know not all teachers are eligible for this. It's specific subjects only that are eligible. I'm going to be telling you how much money this is because they're going to be giving you the money up front, obviously, as a teacher, and then you'll be using it to cover those costs. And obviously, you know, what this actually entails. So if you're new to my channel, look, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate your time and I hope that you're implementing. So please, you know, are you a teacher right now? Leave a comment in the comment section. And say melvis i will implement because look i'm all about implementation this year you know it's all about implementation there's no ifs what not and all of that you need to do what you're supposed to do to keep excelling to keep thriving and to keep achieving your career goals personal and professional goals and i'm here to give you that accountability that you need you deserve you know that push that you need to be able to carry on with those goals so if you check the comment section below you're going to see a link to my newsletter if you join the newsletter then i can send that information directly to your inbox about side hustle opportunities visa sponsorship opportunities in the uk changes updates news you know just literally what you need for your personal and professional development so if you check the comment section below you see a link to my newsletter it's not going to take you 20 seconds to join you drop your name email and bang on you're part of that newsletter so like I've said, what are your personal circumstances right now? Are you a teacher? Where are you based? You know, are you qualified? Are you unqualified? What level do you teach? Secondary schools, you know, primary schools, university, your lecturer? Leave a comment in the comment section below, you know, and I can offer the support or other people who know more about this process as well can offer their support to you. But if you have a question that is private, you want to ask me that private question again, do feel free to use my newsletter as well because you can see my email and all my contacts on there. So who is eligible for this and how much is it? So the money is going to be £10,000 given to you as the candidate to help you with your visa fees, to help you with your relocation costs to the UK. So £10,000 to every single person that applies and is successful. So the government, obviously, like I said, they only met their target by 17%, which is incredibly poor. So these are obviously, you know, extreme. I don't want to say extreme, but I mean, these are desperate measures, really. And so who is eligible for this? Which subject? You need to be strategic again. Because even though the UK is short of teachers and they're desperate, I keep talking about this on this channel, every video that I've done about teaching jobs or teaching opportunities where to apply, if you haven't checked those videos, you want to check the previous ones because I always talk about the subjects that are, you know, more likely to be successful if you're applying for. So you need to be wise and smart because if you're moving to the UK and you're applying to teach English, what are the chances of you being successful? The chances are very, very low. But if you apply to teach those science subjects, obviously, you have higher chances. Again, you can check those videos after this because I've gone into so much detail about all of this. So for this particular um, funding, it's going to be only for teachers that are out of the UK. So known UK teachers, which means that if you're already in the UK, you're not eligible to have this £10,000. You've got to be out of the UK to be eligible, obviously, to get this money. So if you're in the UK currently, you're not able to apply. That's basically what it means because it's only for people physically outside of the UK. And by the way, in case you're wondering who I am, my name's Melvis. I currently work for the NHS here in England. 
as an advanced nurse practitioner. So I have a private career coaching service where I support with career progression in the UK, securing visa sponsorship jobs in the UK, especially within the healthcare sector and within those sectors that are, you know, we know that they are currently giving visa sponsorship. You know what I mean? Because there are certain sectors that if you're in there and you're looking for jobs and you're out of the UK, the probability of you succeeding and getting that job is like 0.002%. So you need to be wise when you're choosing for jobs to apply if you need visa sponsorship. So I provide that guidance through my private coaching program. And if you're already in the UK, I provide, you know, what are the pathways that you can progress into? Side hustle opportunities, work from home jobs, because look, I'm all about retiring early, before I hit 40, that's my mission right now. So I'm doing so much at this stage, you know, so that by the time I hit 40, I'm already at the stage where if I'm working, it's my choice, you know, or I can sit at home and be like, hmm, look, I don't need to go to that job. That's what I want. So I'm working incredibly hard. And that's why I'm dedicated to sharing those opportunities with you. So if you're part of my private coaching program, then we can go through that journey together. You get that individualized support. You get that tailored support that you deserve, obviously, to thrive. Because you may have all this information, but implementation is very difficult. You may be thinking to yourself, where do I even start? I know that there are many people that would like to take advantage of these opportunities that I share and other people share on here on YouTube and elsewhere. But it's very difficult to get started. It's like, what's the first step? What's the next thing? It's very hard for some people. So I can give you guidance with that process through my private coaching program. So if you check the about section of this YouTube channel, you're going to see a link to join that private coaching program. Then when you do, you're going to have access to all the resources. You know, we have live sessions. We have one-to-one -one sessions where we can really guide you. CV optimization interview preparation, who is recruiting, what position, how do you apply, what do they need, what are they looking out for, all of that information is going to be at your fingertips, you know, and it's just going to ease the process. The program is not free, but it's very, very affordable. I've made it such that anybody can afford it, so that's not really a big deal. It's more about a commitment. How committed are you to your course? How committed are you about really wanting what you want? That's what this is about, so check that out. And like we were saying, the subjects that are eligible for this particular um, grant, which is £10,000, you don't need to pay this money back. You've got physics. So if you're a physics teacher right now, then you should be like, yes, I'm 100% moving to the UK. Because the UK is desperately in need of physics teachers. So it doesn't matter whether you're, you know, already a qualified teacher or you've got qualified teacher status. It really doesn't matter as long as you're a physics teacher or you're keen on teaching physics in the UK, or studying to become a physics teacher in the UK, you're going to be eligible for these £10,000. So like I've said, if you're in the UK, physically in the UK right now, you're not eligible for that money. You've got to be outside of the country to be eligible, and you have to be teaching physics. But there are more, there are other subjects as well. You can, you will also be eligible if you're teaching modern languages and ancient languages. <laughs> Look, if you don't know what modern languages are or ancient languages, you can leave a comment in the comment section or you can do some research and then come back and discuss what are those languages. So if you're teaching physics, modern languages or ancient languages and you're out of the UK, the government is going to support you to move to the UK to teach those subjects or to learn to teach those subjects. Which means you're training to teach those subjects or you're already, you know, qualified and you're coming to straight away be teaching. You're going to be eligible for this so ancient languages modern languages do you know what they are do you not leave a comment in the comment section below this your little homework and everything you should know about it so these are the people that are obviously eligible once you've got that job they're going to send the money over to you you know to your account so you need to have obviously a bank account this is what i was thinking about because there are some people there are many people out of the uk that don't necessarily have a bank account so for you to be able to get this money you will need to have bank details for that money to be transferred into because the money is there to help you with your visa fees, with your healthcare surcharge, with, you know, all the relocation costs that you need to move to the UK. And as you know, there's nothing that comes without any criticism. So, you know, quite a few people have expressed their dismay on this particular policy. And by the way, if you're enjoying this content, I want you to hit that like button. It lets me know that you enjoy content like this and you should do more. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you do want to hit subscribe, turn on the notification button so you're the first to be notified when I drop a new video on here. Like I was saying, some, you know, senior teachers or senior people in teaching in the UK have expressed their dismay on this particular policy saying, had the government listened to teachers already in the UK and supported them better and paid them better and improved the working conditions, all of this would not be happening. They would not be so desperate as to, you know, 
all of these measures that they are actually taking but there are also other senior leaders and other people within the sector that have embraced the new change and they'll say look it's going to make a massive difference it's going to help even if it brings in just a hundred extra teachers within these subjects that's still going to help the uk you know rather than the current situation where they only met the targets last year by 17 percent that is really really bad which means that for example, they wanted 100 teachers teaching physics or these languages and they only got, for physics alone, was 17% and they only got 17 So that is really low. And the government has said that with this particular scheme, they are hoping to get teachers, as in right now, this is something that, you know, you need to be applying immediately right now. So this is something that they are hoping to get at least 400 teachers, you know, this year moving to the UK through this pathway. So, you know, no matter how bad it is, no matter how terrible things are, they are hoping to get at least 400 teachers physically in the UK by the end of this year. But, but obviously, if they get more teachers, that is even a bonus because they are hoping to get as many teachers as possible. So we're going to see how it goes. And if you're teaching other subjects and you're wondering what else is there for you, I've done a video, the government has also you know, got other things that are for other teachers teaching other subjects and other supports. So I've done a whole video on that and you want to check the channel so that you don't miss out. That's why you need to subscribe so that when I drop that video, you don't miss out. But most importantly, if you join my private, my, you know, newsletter, then I can send that information directly to you. But if you're part of my private coaching program, then I can actually support you, actively support you with that process, with the journey to make sure that it's just easier. You know, you've got questions just at home and you're thinking, oh, you know, how do I go about this? How do I even get started? You know, I've been teaching for 20 years. I don't know where to get started. You know, it can be really hard when you're in a different country or foreign country. You're trying to move to, a you know, it's hard. You've got kids, you've got families, you've got a life. You're like, oh my goodness. So it's just getting that support, just easing the burden. It's not doing it for you. You still have to be involved. You, have, you still have to be part of the process. But it's just guiding you every step of the way just to make it smoother, to make it more no, more enjoyable really so that you're you're feeling that support so that's what it's all about um what are your thoughts about this is it worth it are they gonna is the government going to achieve their intended outcome you know what's your own situation um are you in the uk you're out of the uk are you a physics teacher could you teach physics because remember that um, if you choose to come to the UK to train as a physics teacher or modern languages or um, ancient languages, you will be eligible for this money. And there are also extra bursaries of £29,000. Yes, because you've watched it now. I'm going to tell you this. If you choose to come to the UK to train as a physics teacher, you're going to be paid £29,000 extra to train as a physics teacher, which means you'll get the £10,000 to help you move to the UK. And then you're going to get £29,000 to train you. So this is for people who are not qualified teachers yet. If you're already a qualified teacher, you'll get the 10000 move to the UK. And then obviously you have your normal pay as a physics teacher. But if you don't have any experience right now, but you want to teach physics in the UK, then you're going to get a 10000 relocation package still. But once you get to the UK, you know, the government is going to pay you £29,000 to train and become a physics teacher. That is something that is huge. That's something that is massive. That's something that you've got to be smart and wise. If you've got other skills in teaching or other degrees or other interests, how can you incorporate this into this particular thing so you can benefit from this pathway? You know what I mean? That's what you should be thinking about right now. It's up to you. You know, is this something that is achievable? Is it something that is doable for you? Is this something that you're willing to put in the extra work sacrifice dedication that is needed for you to be able to successfully go through this again that's something that you would have to decide by yourself but i think the opportunity is well worth it i would 100 percent. you know i constantly have to adapt my skills you know to learn new things and to be able to reinvent myself so that i can continue with that personal career and you know professional progress because that's what life is about you know if you are wanting to move to the uk or you're already in the uk you need to be able to evolve you need to be able to innovate you need to be able to adapt to the system you know take advantage of the opportunities that are available so that you can excel you can thrive you can succeed you can enjoy the beautiful country and the best opportunities that it brings so obviously keep watching the videos i've done lots of videos on here about how to move to the uk as a teacher without qualified teacher status about 
other advantages there for teachers, other visa um, opportunities, work from home jobs, side hustle opportunities, career progression, interview preparation, tips, you know, all sorts of things that you really need to excel, to thrive, to be your best self in the UK with your family so that moving to the UK becomes the best thing you've ever done rather than something that you see that you think, oh my God, it's been so daunting. Because look, for me, moving to the UK has been the best thing that I did. Um, 12 years ago, I moved to the UK. So it's been a long time right now, but it's been fantastic. You know, the opportunities that I've been exposed to, especially the more knowledge I gain in this country, the more I know things, I'm like, wow, it was all worth it. So you know, this, this is how it should be really. So thank you for your time. Keep watching the videos and do share this with anybody, you know, that's able to benefit from this so that, you know, more brothers and sisters can obviously benefit from these opportunities and make the most of what is available, um, out there really. So keep watching the videos. I'll see you in the next video.